Welcome back, 47 gang, gang, gang. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to talk about the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, and they look like this. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to give you guys a swatch video. I'm not going to try, y'all putting this stuff on my lips and doing lip swatches because lip swatches are very hard to do and these things dry down like something cold and I'm afraid I might have a little bit of trouble. So we are just going to go ahead and we are going to start the swatching. Okay, I'm going to try to, well, I think I mixed those ones up. Yeah, I did. Okay, so we're going to start with this red shade in no particular order. This is number 118, Dancer, and it looks like this. And it's like a red. We're going to start over here. And there is Dancer. Really nice. I like that shade. Let's just go with the flow of the reds. Here is another one in 120, and this is called Artist. This one, Dancer, is like a red, uh, um, orangey red, and Artist is more of a, um, more of a blue-based looking red. I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus. Here's another red, and this one is in Pioneer, and it's number 20. Oh, yeah, that's like a really, really blue-based. So if you look at them, I'm glad I swatched all the reds together. This one is like an orangey red this one's like more has more of a purpley pink undertone and then this one which is pioneer is a real for sure blue based red so if you want that holiday popping red go with pioneer okay next i have one orange here so i'll go ahead and i will swatch this one and this is number 25 in heroin Yeah, definitely an orange for sure. <laughs> there it is right there. Really orangey orange. I think it would be really pretty though. Okay, now we have some darker shades that are more in the fall. Wait, wait, let me back up. I got another one that looks a little bit on the red side. This is number 115 Founder. And it looks like it's, it might not be a red though, y'all. It might just look like it's, it might be a, um, it's more of a burgundy looking color right there. Now we'll go on into these darker fall colors. And I'm going to start off with number 85, Protector. Ooh, that's like a brown, you guys. And it looks like it would be like a deep purple from the casing, but it's like a, oh, that is so pretty. Oh my God, I like that. Next one we're gonna go in with is number 50 in Voyager. We're gonna swatch him right in front, right here. And that is Voyager. I like that too. This is like a brownie, red, brick. It's like a brick looking brownish red. These things are going to dry. It's going to take heart forever to get these off. Okay, the next color that we're going to go in with is 112. And this is called Composer. And I'm going to just start to swatch them on my hand. Ooh, fall is coming, y'all. These colors are so pretty. 
we are in like fall mist winter phase right now so these shades right here is speaking to me okay next is number 110 and this is like a deep purple and this is called organator i wonder where we get these names from mm, ooh, look at it look at it oh my gosh <sighs> these swatches is killing me <laughs> Next is number 45, Escapist, which is what I have on on the outer part of my lips. We'll just use this in the video. Let's swatch it. Hmm. Escapist um, looks a little bit like them, a little bit. And as you can see, it's not as, it looks more sheer. Like it's kind of breaking up. And I did notice that when I did put it on my lips, you will need more than one coat of this one to get it to look opaque. But that's number 45, Escapist. Yep. Okay, now all of these are more lighter shades. So I'm going to start off with this one here. And this is number 65. And this is Seductress, which is the other shade that I have on the inner part of my lips. And it's like a pinky, nudie shade, and that's it right there. And this is called Seductress. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is number 60, and this is Poet. This is like a nude. I say it's more of a full on nude. Yeah. The next shade I'm going to go in with is number 55. And this is Driver. This is in no order, y'all. It's just however I'm grabbing them. Okay, wait. No, this one is more of a nude, 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 y'all. That one right there is driver. I like these, you guys. I'm liking them. Okay, let's go with this one. And this is number 50. And this is Loyalist, which is a color that is popular. But I'm not too sure that it would work for my skin tone necessarily. I don't know. Let's see. Loyalist is... Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I think with a brown lip liner and a little bit of work, it could pass. But I would stick with one of these three down here before I would go with that one. So next, we have number 10, and this is Dreamer. And this is a pink. Ooh watched right there very pretty um cotton candy type of pink it looks more lilac-y on camera though and then I'm going to go with this next shade is number 35 creator and this is like a lilac purple Ooh, this is really pretty it's not it's kind of like a light look at that Oh my gosh, I have not messed around with these. They've been in my drawer. So yeah, this is like what y'all seeing is what I'm seeing. Okay, this is number 30 and this is romantic and this is like a deeper pink. So we're going to swatch it right here. And there it is. Ooh, that is so. Oh my gosh, and I'll be scared of those types of pinks, y'all. So I'm really interested in trying that. Okay, now we got two more shades after this one left and we're gonna go with number 95 and this is Visionary. And this is like a mauve type off gray looking purple is a good way to describe it. And it's right there, that's Visionary. 
So if y'all like them grayish purple colors, it's a win. Next one we're gonna go with is number 100 and this is Philosopher. And this is like a grayish purple too, but it looks like it has more of a lighter tone. Child, these swatches everywhere. And um, there it is right there. That is number 100 Philosopher. Now to the last shade is number 90. And this is called Hunter, Huntress, Huntress, like being hunted. That's how it's spelled, Huntress. And this is another purplish looking gray. Oh yeah, this one is like super duper. Now, if you want that true gray right there, and that's Huntress. Those are all the swatches of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks on my arm right here. Let me know what shades you guys like that you're into. Um, I'm wearing two of them on my lips right now. Something I didn't mention in the other video is very comfortable wear. It doesn't feel over drying to me, which is important for this kind of year because you know in the winter months, you don't want your lips to feel horribly dry. So they're not horribly drying. They feel very comfortable to me. So yeah, still have that tacky feel a little bit, but like I said earlier, the color is, is not there. It's not gonna go anywhere, which is another reason why I didn't wanna do swatches because we probably would have had some tug, <laughs> some situations in this video that we did not need, but that's all the swatches there. Um, I'm Latoya47, thank you for tuning into this video, spending your time with me to times of recording today <laughs> but i absolutely love what i do and i love you guys so i thank you for tuning in um remember um rate comment subscribe leave comments below i will get back to them as soon as possible if you are new here what you're waiting for click that subscribe button turn on that bell get them notifications become a part of the 47 gang gang <laughs> And thank you guys so much for tuning in again. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Love y'all. Don't come off. Oh, oh Lord. <clears throat> How am I going to get this stuff off my arm? Oh, child. Oh, boy.